welcome students once again back to the same chapter polynomials as we have already completed the exercise 2.2 now we are about to start the new exercise for 2.3 let's go to the new slide to see what is there in the 2.3 the first questions let's move with the first question that is determine which of the polynomial has x plus 1 as a factor now to check that x plus 1 is a factor of given here four distinct different polynomials we have to first bring x plus 1 equals to 0 in order to get the value of x so let's start that way the first question p of x that is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 we have to check x plus 1 is a factor of x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 or not for that as i said x plus 1 equals to 0 so we get x equals to minus 1 now using the remainder theorem we will keep the value of x equals to minus 1 in the given question so here doing so here doing so minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1 that gives you minus 1 to the power 3 since the power is odd the value will be minus 1 plus minus 1 to the power 2 since the degree is even so it will be plus 1 again plus into minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 on simplifying this we get 0 since using the value of x equals to 1 x equals to in fact minus 1 in the given questions we get the answer 0 therefore we can say x minus 1 is a factor of given polynomial let's go with the second slide i am doing out of four first and fourth one the rest two will be your homework so let's go with the second one x cube minus x square minus bracket 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2 putting the value x plus 1 equals to 0 so we will get x equals to minus 1 so let's keep the value of x equals to minus 1 in p of x that is given x cube minus x square minus into 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2 so keeping the value of minus 1 in place of x we get minus 1 whole cube minus minus 1 whole square plus 2 root 2 into minus 1 plus root 2 on simplifying this we'll get the value 2 root 2 finally since we don't get the answer 0 so therefore we can say x plus 1 is not a factor of x cube minus x square minus 2 plus 2 root 2 into x plus root 2 so the rest as i said and explained two question here same question number one for which you have to do as homework i have represented here the question number two and three as homework i hope you have understood let's move with the new question that is i hope it is visible using the factor theorem to determine whether g of x is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases here the three questions are given to us and again same the g of x values are given to us we have to make the prove whether the given g of x is the factor of p of x or not so as we did in the first question similarly we will keep every value of g of x to the corresponding question so here let's go with the first question where p of x is given 2x cubed plus x square minus 2x minus 1 again set the g of x is given x plus 1 in order to check that one we will keep x plus 1 equals to 0 therefore x equals to minus 1 so let's keep the value of x equals to minus 1 in the given question 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 on doing so we'll get the value of uh, 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 that is equals to 0 therefore we can say that x minus 1 is the factor of p of x 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 
one. Let's go to the next slide. Here, as I did the first question, we will first, let me repeat once again, we will first bring g of x equals to zero in order to get the value of x. So we can keep that value of x in the given question to check whether it is an factor or I can say divisible or not. Similarly, here question number two and three is a homework. Do it this one at home and if you don't get when the school will reopen after the lockdown, I'll make you understand well on the board. Let's go with the next question. Here, the question number three is all about the finding the value of k if x is x minus one is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases. So let's go with the first question, p of x, which is equals to x square plus x plus k. Here we will keep the value of x equals to minus 1 since x minus 1 is a factor. Therefore, x minus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to 1. Using the reminder theorem, if we keep the value of x equals to minus 1 in P of x, we get 1 square plus 1 plus k equals to 2 plus k. Since x minus 1 is a factor of P of x, hence x minus x of p of 1 equals to 0 therefore 2 plus k equals to 0 therefore k equals to minus 2. So similarly we can go with the other questions too. Let's go with one more question to understand again how to find out the value of k when x minus 1 is equals to 0 since it is a factor therefore 2x cube plus kx plus root 2 is the value of p of x. As I said, we will keep the value of x equals to minus 1 in the given questions. On further simplifications, we get value of k as minus 2 minus root 2. This is the final value of k. So I hope you have understood well. So at the end of the page, I had given two question number 3 and 4 as homework. So please do it at home. And if you don't get it, as I said, while the school will reopen after the lockdown. You will be able to get it more clear from my side while doing on the blackboard. Thank you. Let's go to the next slide. It's about the new concept that is splitting of middle term. Here, what we're going to do, we're going to deal with the quadratic polynomial where the question is given and uh, we're going to solve it in a systematic manner by following an algorithm that is, let's see better we go with the example, we will get more idea about this. So let me zoom it first. The first question is x square minus 2x minus 63. So in order to get the factors of this polynomial, we have a certain rules. That is first, you have to check the coefficient of x square. If it is not available, then we will keep the value of coefficient as 1 for the x square. Then after, we have to multiply the first, that is x square coefficient with the last term, 63. 63. So, if we assume that the coefficient of x square is 1, so 1 into 63, 63, we have to find out such a factor of 63 that on plus or else on minus, we must get the middle term that is minus 2x. So we know that 9, 7 is 63. Minus 9 plus 7 will give you minus 2. So we will group these two numbers in such a way that we can able to find out the common number. Therefore, let's see. Sorry for the interpretation, but I'll put it off the do not disturb here. So will not get any more call now so I can make you more explain and sorry for the interruption that I made from my side but that's okay. Here as we were at uh, x square minus 9x plus 7x minus 63 here we will make the grouping of terms that is first two and the last two x square minus 9x plus 7x minus 63. So first we'll take out the x common from x square minus 9x so we'll left with x minus 9 
Similarly, if we'll take out seven com seven common from the second bracket, we'll get again common as x minus nine. So what we find in yellow color both is similar. We'll write it one time, and what is left outside the bracket that is x plus seven. This is the another bracket. Similarly, we can say that the parentheses of for the same vertical key is x plus seven and x minus nine are the two factors of the given quadratic polynomial. I hope you have understood this. More on this, we will learn with four more examples in this slide. I had given here the four questions. Here are the four questions. I hope it is visible. These four questions you have to go simultaneously, and if you have doubt, you can uh, ask me when the school will be open. So let me go to the next slide. Okay, here is the last slide. So let me go with once again the question number one. To recall what we have studied in the last and the previous exercise of our slide. So here, twelve x square minus seven x plus one is the question. We will split the middle term uh, in order to get the factors for this given quadratic polynomial. As I said, first of all, we will look after the coefficient of x square. So here, the twelve. Is the coefficient of x square. So second step, we will multiply 12 with the last term that is 1. So here 12 into 1 is 12. So the factors should be 4, 3 are 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we'll take these two number. So in place of 7, I'll write 4 plus 3 in a bracket and x. When we open this bracket with the x, we'll get the expression 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1. Then after we will make the grouping of the first two term and the last two term. On that way, we can able to take out the common 4x from 12x cube minus 4x. So 4x is common. So 3x minus 1 is is in the bracket. Similarly, from the last two one minus 1 is the common. So we'll get 3x minus 1. So on doing so, we'll get finally last two uh, brackets that is 3x minus 1 and 4x minus 1. These two are the Factors of 12x square minus 7x plus 1. I hope I have made myself. You understand. Thank you. Stay home. Stay blessed.